What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming and I'm back again with another six games that you can pick up for your Nintendo 64. This lovely little console we got right here that are all under 20 bucks and add to your collection. And actually I even found a seventh that's not quite under 20 bucks but it's pretty close. We'll get to that one at the end of the video. So anyway, let's set this absolutely wonderful beauty of a console off to the side and we'll jump right into the first game. Nintendo 64 has got a ton of racing games, so I chose one that's a little bit different from Extreme G that I think most people would enjoy. Coming in at a price trading price of $13.95, we have Ridge Racer 64 or RR64. Pretty fun arcade style racing game. It takes a little bit to get used to the drifting in this game. I've featured it before on Time Trial Tuesdays, but I think the average arcade style racing fan would enjoy this one. So check this out if you're interested in adding another solid racing game title to your collection. Let's continue. How about a kind of, I guess we'd say Star Fox clone of sorts? No, you decide. Look up some gameplay of this one. Star Wars Rogue Squadron coming in at price trading price of $13.45. Can't go wrong with anything Star Wars in this day and age. All these games are solid with good controls. So I really don't think there's any bad Star Wars games on the Nintendo 64. And this one is included. Awesome music, of course, made by LucasArts. And for copyright reasons, I won't be featuring any of that. Probably ever. <laughs> Let's just continue right along. How about a shooter game? Since, you know, games like GoldenEye might be a little bit expensive, I found one that I think you could enjoy. Turok 2 Seeds of Evil, coming in at a price trading price of $12.12. I believe this one's a little bit superior to the first one, but I did happen to look up the first Turok, and that game, I believe, is $13, somewhere in that range. Forgive, forgive me, I don't remember the exact price. But really, either the first two Turok games, the third one is obviously much, much more expensive, and actually the Turok 3 Grey card is one of the more highly valued and high expensive games for the Nintendo 64 so Turok 2 Seeds of Evil gotta have a shooter on this list trying to add as much variety here as I can next let's toss in a puzzle game coming in at $15.75 Wetrix which has been slowly climbing I think people are kind of slowly waking up to this one but overall very enjoyable puzzle game that's got a lot to it can really kind of hook you in so I kind of went into this one with no expectations and all in all I was pleasantly surprised by it so if you're ever looking for a fun puzzle game for the Nintendo 64 check out Wetrix now this next game I mentioned it before in my previous list which I will leave pinned down in the comments below if you missed it please go check that out but I'm gonna shout it out again Major League Baseball featuring Ken Griffey Jr. I actually mentioned Slugfest, but it's $6.86. Can't go wrong with this one. This is, of course, a longtime favorite of mine, so any chance I have to talk about this one, I'm, of course, going to do so. Y'all already know how I feel about this one. I need to prattle on too much longer. Let's just continue right along. Now, having looked at games like GoldenEye and Perfect Dark, I did manage to see a 007 game that you could add to your collection without bankrupting yourself. And one that's actually quite enjoyable. How about 007, The World Is Not Enough? Of course, based off the movie. So, can't go wrong with this one. If you enjoy the movie or you enjoy Pierce Brosnan as Bond, I think you'll enjoy this one. I got my copy for 10 bucks. And as I said, this one has a price trading price of $14.21. So, solid game. Also, it's a blue cartridge, so that's kind of cool. I like that. Now, on to that little exemption that I mentioned for the purpose of this list. Let me just show you the game. Beetle Adventure Racing. Surprisingly enough, this one has actually stayed relatively cheap, and I've been quite surprised by that. Comes in at a price trading price of $21.46. So if you can find this one for $25 or less, 
for the Nintendo 64, I'd say pick it up. There's a lot to it, super long tracks, solid controls. I think you'll have a lot of fun. It's definitely a racing game you can sink your teeth into. So, do you have any games that I missed? Any of the games that you think I should have put on this list for games under $20? Comment them below. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, everybody.